already know that leaves contain pigments which are mainly responsible for the photosynthetic process in plants, right? This leaf, for example, most likely contains chlorophyll, judging from its prominent green color. But that is not all. Among its millions of pigments, it may also have other pigments like carotene, orange, xanthophyll, yellow, or anthocyanin, red. Just by looking at its leaf color, you cannot identify the pigments because they are in a mixture. In order for us to separate and identify these pigments, we will use a method called chromatography. Out of its many types, what we will perform today is paper chromatography. For this experiment, we will be using filter paper, pencil and ruler, scissors and masking tape, mortar and pestle, beaker, watch glass and dropper, and isopropyl alcohol. And of course, marshmallow. Enzo, there are no marshmallows in this experiment. <laughs> Let's prepare a 7 by 10 centimeter filter paper, making sure that its height is shorter than the beaker. up from the bottom of the sheet, let's mark four points with a pencil. Across the sheet, about one centimeter below the top edge, let's draw a line. Then we'll cut the rectangle around the edges. This sheet will be our chromatogram, where our pigments will be separated. Then we need to prepare leaf extracts. To do this, we use a mortar and pestle to grind the leaves and squeeze out the juice. We only need a small amount for each plant. Then, we will draw some leaf extracts onto a tip of a dropper. The height of the extract on the tube must be approximately one millimeter. Then, we briefly touch the tip of the extract onto the filter paper so that a small spot of extract seeps onto the paper. We'll let this spot dry for a few minutes and then repeat the process two or three more times. Then we'll attach the chromatogram onto the watch glass. Then, we fill this beaker with isopropyl alcohol up to one centimeter from the bottom. Then, we place the filter paper inside the beaker, making sure that the pigment spots are above the alcohol level. The alcohol level is rising along the filter paper. You're right, Alfonso. We will wait until the alcohol level reaches the pencil line near the top edge. Hmm. I can see the extract spots being deformed. They look oval-shaped now. I can see their colors separating. Now they form new spots. Time's up. 
Now, the extracts have separated into their component pigments. We'll leave this paper to dry for a few minutes, then we'll label all the spots. From what we have learned about pigments, the orange spots must be carotene, the yellow, xanthophyll, and the green, chlorophyll. Correct! So we can see that the dankalan extract has two pigments, chlorophyll and xanthophyll. Also, the croton extract has chlorophyll, xanthophyll, and anthocyanin. The Rio Discolor extract has chlorophyll and anthocyanin. And finally, the papaya extract has chlorophyll and xanthophyll. Very good! Now that you know what pigments are present in each plant, what can you predict about its photosynthesis? Ma'am, tangkalan and papaya do not have anthocyanin. We can therefore predict that these plants are less able to absorb green light, which is the color absorbed by the anthocyanin. However, all of them are able to carry out photosynthesis because all of them have chlorophyll A. Very good. Any other observations, Ashley? Hmm. Earlier, I was wondering why we really had to use pencil in marking the paper. Now I realize that if we used ink, its pigments could have separated along with our extracts and interfered with our results. You are right! Now you see how useful chromatography is in separating mixtures. Also, keep in mind that aside from the pigments, there may also be other separated components from our extracts, only that the spots they formed are colorless. Did you have fun assisting in this experiment? Yes, yes ma'am! With this activity, I hope you'll better appreciate the marvels of the living systems, not just by listening and reading about them, but more importantly, by seeing and experiencing them yourselves. As Confucius said, I hear and I forget. I see and I remember. I do and I understand.